So on today's trip, I ended up keeping three yellowtail snappers. Uh, this is a nice 15 incher, which is usually the kind, the size 15 to 17 inch is my preferred size for these snappers. But then I ended up getting a nice 21. And then this big dog uh, came out to 27 inches. So uh, I am actually going to be making that soup, so I don't need a lot of, of flame meat. So I'll probably just use this uh, 21 incher here. And then the other ones I'm gonna use for something else. So let's get to cleaning. All right, let's clean this guy up. All right, just got to kind of beat the storm coming in here. And plus it's getting dark, so this is going to be a quick soup, quick and easy. Uh, main ingredients, starter with some bacon, got some onions, celery, carrots, and then I've got some potatoes inside that are all diced up and ready to go. But I'm going to start with uh, rendering down the bacon. Anything that starts with bacon, you know, is going to be good. So we'll get that fixed up real quick. All right, our bacon's all rendered down, somewhat crispy. So I'm going to take some of it out and leave some of it in. To this, we're going to add the onions. And the celery. And the carrots. And we're gonna to wanna to get those cooked slightly through, but we don't want them to glaze over and start to brown. We just wanna soften them up. So we're gonna keep an eye on this here pretty closely. Okay, the veggies have all been kinda of sweated out a bit. So we're gonna add our three potatoes. Actually, they're two and a half, but these were pretty big ones. 
and we're just going to get those cooked through just a bit. Oops, lost one. All right, and we're going to get those softened up just a bit. Uh, cooked, but not cooked all the way through because then we're going to put the liquids on. All right, now that those have been sweated, the potatoes have been sweated a little bit as well, then we can go ahead and start the liquids, and that's really going to get them cooking through and softened up. So, I'm doing a can of chicken stock. And then I'm going to do another can with just water in it. And the water. There we go. And we're going to let that simmer and cook until the potatoes are soft. Or probably almost soft all the way through. Okay. Potatoes have gotten soft, so I'm going to add the fish. I basically just chunked it up to nice bite-sized pieces, and then I've uh, put Everglades heat on them for this seasoning them. And we're going to just add all that nice meat there. Okay. We are pretty thick there, but uh, now all we're going to do is let that uh, simmer and cook through the fish, then we're almost done. Okay, the fish is cooked through, everything's solid, the potatoes are cuttable, so we are ready to get to the final process, which is going to be thickening this up. So I've got a mixture of heavy cream, flour, and butter. And that we're going to use is just a thickening agent. And we're just going to mix in a little at a time. Oh yeah. Okay, get that final cut in and we'll be done. I'll say we're pretty much done so let me go ahead and just take this inside and I'll get it all plated up all right let me uh, plate this up here real quick for you Got a nice hearty clam chowder here just basically using a sourdough sourdough bun as in digging out the insides make a little bowl
Let's check this out. Okay, our New England, Key West, San Francisco style fish chowder is all done. Uh, we went ahead and uh, utilized the sourdough roll as our bowl. That's what gets it kind of the San Francisco style. Um, Meg, uh, yellowtail snapper is our fish that we used in the soup and just your basic celery, carrots, onions, um, some chicken stock, water, uh, heavy cream, butter, a little bit of flour to thicken it up and uh, I'm going to top it with some bacon here and then on the side we just have a little bit of a olive oil and uh, minced garlic, add a little bacon to it, and that I'm gonna just dab up with the uh, internal parts that I dug out of this sourdough bread. And that is our hearty soup. All right, let's give this a try. Ooh, nice and thick. Ooh, hot. Mm. Potato-y, but I got that big chunk of fish in that first bite, so that's good. You can smell the bacon. Mmm. Potatoes still have a little bit of a crunch to it, so that's just perfect. Nice. I did top this up with some black pepper because I like the pepper. Then we've got, whoops. I toasted some of these and then we can dip this in our... Uh, Olive oil and uh, minced garlic. Mm. Definitely have to do the uh, San Francisco part with the sourdough. Makes it amazing. The fish chowder by itself is great, but having that sourdough bread just puts it over the top. Mmm, so good. So, anyways, I go, hope you guys enjoyed that. Excellent stuff. Another really good one. I'd highly recommend it. Definitely do the sourdough. That that just kicks it off uh, totally there. So, anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next video. Bye.